Bonjour tout le monde. Hello everyone. Thank you all for joining us. Over the past few weeks, we've seen COVID-19 spread around the globe. Here in Canada, 93 cases have been reported, and on Monday, one person died. Before we go any further, I want to extend my sincere condolences to their family and friends. Our thoughts are with them as they navigate through this difficult time. Depuis le début, nous adoptons une approche pan-gouvernementale pour freiner la propagation de la COVID-19 et assurer la sécurité des Canadiens. Nous travaillons de près, très près avec nos homologues municipaux, provinciaux et territoriaux pour atténuer les risques à la population. Les membres du groupe d'intervention en cas d'incident se réunissent régulièrement pour faire le point sur la situation. La ministre Haidu et la docteur Tam gardent les Canadiens au courant des derniers développements et émettent des recommandations quotidiennes. Les ministres Baines, Joly, Morneau et Ng suivent de près les impacts actuels et potentiels du virus sur différents secteurs de notre économie. Et le ministre Champagne travaille avec nos partenaires internationaux et l'Organisme mondial de la santé pour contenir le virus à l'échelle mondiale. As we saw an uptick in the total number of cases around the globe, we took additional steps. Last week, we announced a special committee chaired by Deputy Prime Minister Freeland to manage the federal response to the outbreak. We've also put in place screening measures at airports. We've increased testing at the National Microbiology Laboratory. We've invested in research. We've bolstered support for health services in Indigenous communities. But the reality is that the number of people affected by the virus around the globe keeps climbing. Canada has been fortunate so far. We have not seen a drastic spike in the number of cases reported, but I know that people across the country are worried. Worried about their health, worried about their aging parents, worried about the kind of impact this virus could have on their job, on their business. Since day one, our government has been following the situation very closely. We have a responsibility to make sure Canada is ready for all scenarios, and we take that responsibility extremely seriously. That's why today we're announcing a comprehensive package to address the impacts of COVID-19 on our country and to keep Canadians safe. Our government will be creating a billion-dollar COVID-19 response fund which will provide money to the provinces and territories to deal with preparation and mitigation for the virus. I want all Premiers and all Canadians to know our government is here for you. We will make sure you have everything you need. Notre gouvernement créera un fonds de lutte contre la COVID-19 d'un milliard de dollars qui fournira du financement aux provinces et aux territoires pour se préparer à toute éventualité et à atténuer les risques à la population. À tous les premiers ministres provinciaux et à tous les Canadiens, notre gouvernement est là pour vous. Nous allons faire en sorte que vous ayez tout ce dont vous avez besoin. The fund will provide $200 million to support the ongoing federal response to the virus, including more money for things like surgical masks and face shields, increased capacity for services to Indigenous people and other federal health care responsibilities, and for continued public education efforts to Canadians. It will also invest $275 million in additional funding for research and medical countermeasures, including vaccine development and support for clinical trials. On the economic front, our government understands the disruptive impact the virus is having on businesses and workers. That's why we will waive the mandatory one-week waiting period for employment insurance to kick in. We're also introducing, among other things, special measures under the Work Sharing Program to help employers who fall on hard times due to COVID-19. Let me be clear. No one should have to worry about their job if they have to be quarantined. No employer should feel like they have to lay off a worker because of the virus. We can support you, and we will. Today's announcement is significant 
but we are already preparing to do more if need be. Should businesses face a cash crunch in the short term, they can easily access credit to bridge to better times. We will work with our financing crown corporations through the business credit availability program to protect jobs and to be there for businesses. As we saw over the past few days, the outbreak is having an impact on the global economy. It's affecting supply chains, commodity prices, our oil and gas sector, tourism, and more. I know this is adding to people's anxieties. With a strong balance sheet and a resilient economy, Canada is well positioned to deal with these challenges. Canadians can count on us to provide them with the right kind of support as the situation progresses. En ce moment, les pays dont les systèmes de santé sont plus fragiles sont plus à risque de voir le virus se propager. C'est donc pourquoi notre gouvernement allouera également 50 millions de dollars pour aider les pays qui sont particulièrement vulnérables. Pour contrer la COVID-19, le Canada pose un regard global sur la situation actuelle. D'abord, on réalise des investissements additionnels pour faire en sorte que nos systèmes de santé et nos professionnels de la santé soient prêts à toute éventualité. Ensuite, on travaille avec nos partenaires internationaux de façon à ce qu'ils possèdent les ressources nécessaires pour empêcher le virus de se propager chez eux et à travers le monde. I know that people are worried about what they're seeing on the nightly news and what it means for their community. We get it, and we're on it. We're working with our international partners to contain the virus. We're applying the lessons we learned during the SARS outbreak. We're making sure our healthcare systems are resilient. We are pulling out all the stops to make sure Canadians stay safe, healthy, and supported. Canada is among the best prepared countries in the world to respond to the situation we're facing. We will get through what comes next together.